Hi, welcome to Get In, the software-defined vehicle podcast from BlackBerry. With this series, we're diving into what the future of transportation just might look like. So don't just stand there, get in. I'm Steve Kovsky, I'm editorial director for BlackBerry, and we are here at the BlackBerry booth on the upper deck, um, talking to some of our important partners and, uh, and friends and customers, and of course our executives. Um, I would like to introduce you again to somebody that we spoke with uh, in an earlier podcast in 2022. That was all last year though, everything's changed in this industry. Um, would you please introduce yourself? Yeah, of course. Hi, Steve. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Fabrizio Martini. I'm the CEO and founder of uh, Electra Vehicles, an innovative uh, B2B software company based in Boston and now with present in Turin, Italy, uh, in order um, with a goal to import um, and innovate uh, on uh, battery performance, electric vehicle performance. And we are very happy to be back at CES uh, uh, with the BlackBerry. So very happy to be here. Well, I'm happy to be talking to anybody in person, but but uh, uh, I really enjoyed our previous conversations. And um, uh, Fabricio, I was really uh, interested in your background. And first, uh, first tell us a little bit about Electra, and then tell us kind of the founder story. How did, how did it come to be the company that it is today? Sure, sure, absolutely. Happy to, to go over that. So Electra started about uh, five years ago when I was a principal investigator for a NASA project. We are trying to explore the surface of Venus. And uh, of course, we realized that uh, um, we needed to handle a lot of data coming out from the batteries. And uh, we wanted to predict any failures a uh, month in advance before they, they were going to happen, as well as uh, leverage machine learning AI techniques uh, to uh, improve their range uh, with a single charge, improve the lifetime of the batteries, improve the overall performance of an electric vehicle. So that's what we have done with NASA, and then we started to import some of that knowledge, some of that know-how to commercialization through electric vehicles, and uh, we started to close uh, partnerships like BlackBerry that we closed about two years ago, and now we are finally ready to get to market with innovative technology we are very proud of. So. Uh, I, I think that's fascinating, and uh, I'm waiting to get a chance to invest in uh, in a, uh, a whole series of uh, a charger infrastructure for Venus, so that uh, <laughs> you know, so that you'll be able to to, to get a uh, you know extend your range there. But right, we're gonna um, get there sooner you know, or later. We'll get there. Yeah, even even Elon doesn't want to go to Venus yet. Sure. Um, right some of us wish he would. I don't know, but maybe that will change. Uh, but what you're able to do here on Earth with our uh, batteries and electric vehicles, I think is really important. And would you talk a little bit about the technology that you're bringing to bear? And, and what are some of the things that are really impacting people who are, who are uh, either currently driving electric vehicles or who are considering it? Yeah, so we, what we've seen is a big wave in electrification. There is a big push in, uh, in electric vehicles. And of course, one of the main drawback is the battery, is the battery performance. So everybody wants more range, longer range, longer lifetime of their batteries, and also lower cost, as well as a very, very high safety in every instance. So what we've seen is that uh, we can leverage uh, the data that we are collecting from the battery pack in order to, to do all of this, to achieve all of this. So extending the range with the EVI now fully integrated with Ivy, the BlackBerry solution, we're able to extend between 20 to 25% extra range with a single charge, as well as um, uh, doubling potentially the lifetime of the batteries. So we can reduce the number of uh, batteries we utilize and deploy, but also predict failure three months in advance. So if there is any issues with your batteries, we can predict that uh, one through three, up to three months in advance. So, uh, I think uh, there is a big uh, opportunity to support this electrification process, to go to market faster, and uh, to make every consumer be able to choose and opt for an electric vehicles rather than an ICE uh, uh, vehicle. Uh, so we are looking to support that uh, transition. Okay. Um, so in, in case you didn't catch it, he said 25% increase in range using existing batteries. And uh, this is with no additional hardware. This is all a function of the software. Um, th that's massive. And um, people who buy electric vehicles are going to realize, if they haven't already, that the most important component, the most expensive component of that car is the battery. Indeed. So um, 
extending the lifetime of that battery, predicting possible failure uh, before it happens. Th these things are going to be so important as more and more, uh, not only individuals, but fleets start to deploy these vehicles. Um, these, are, these are fundamental technologies. Absolutely, and we actually are very happy to be at CES 2023 because we have demonstrated some of these uh, claims uh, with BlackBerry Ivy. Uh, we have uh, actually just announced a very good design win earlier today for the first day of CES, uh, and we're very happy with that, uh, with uh, Pateo, that is uh, bringing to the digital cockpit uh, solutions like Ivy and AVI together to improve the range uh, of the electric vehicles and also estimate uh, very accurately the state of charge of the vehicle to give the driver the actual uh, remaining uh, mileage that the vehicle and the battery has. So we're very happy to, to be here demonstrating these at the BlackBerry booth and very proud partners of us. Well, and, and uh, it's making such a difference to BlackBerry to have partners that are able to demonstrate how Ivy can elevate the, uh, the performance and experience within the cars and, uh, you know, Electra has become sort of the poster child for, right. for how to do that in a really meaningful way. Right, right. Um, what is it, so, so uh, the, the drivers of these new vehicles in, in uh, coming out of Shanghai, uh, uh, on, I, on the streets of Shanghai now, I believe, um, uh, what are they going to experience? How are they going to know? Uh, you actually touch the user interface with the driver to allow them to make smart choices. Could you talk about that? Yeah, so absolutely. So what we have worked on over the last uh, year, uh, since we met the CS uh, 2022, we are able to uh, improve the digital uh, cockpit, so the driver experience. So the driver now will see um, a indication of the recommended velocity to follow in order to improve the, the range, whether you need to go a bit faster or a bit slower, or having a smoother accelerations versus an aggressive one or so, and or potentially reducing slightly the maximum speed. So all the driver will receive this recommendation that can follow and in order to extend the range. And uh, as well as they will see the very accurate uh, remaining mileage or kilometers available for, for their trip. So their, their range anxiety will reduce drastically because they can always, always see a very accurate number that will tell them if they re can reach home, if they can reach uh, the grocery shop, or if they can reach uh, uh, their, their office or so. So these are the initial two demos that we are showcasing. It's part of an EVI that is fully integrated with Ivy, and it's, they are called uh, Velocity Recommendations and EV Range for the driver experience to improve that. And you're right, they're going to be on production vehicles, so we're very excited. We announced the design win. We can't wait to see those in, uh, in the streets. And uh, I think 2023 is going to be a huge year for Electra, um, for BlackBerry Ivy, for consumers of these vehicles that are going to have uh, these delightful new features that improve their experience in the car. What are some of the things that you're working on for next year and the year after that are, are going to, again, give us, give us an upgrade? Yeah, so Electra is growing very fast. Uh, we are reaching uh, 50 people. We're going to double by the end of this year. Uh, we have great partners, uh, including BlackBerry. And uh, the coming month, uh, you will see a consolidation of this uh, uh, solution, the velocity recommendations and the EV range. Um, also for uh, driver assistant, uh, driver um, regular vehicles, but also uh, autonomous vehicles as well. So we are exploring to deploy some of this technology to fully autonomous vehicles. And, uh, and then uh, we have a couple of uh, innovation in the prediction aspect, as I was telling you. Uh, we are able to predict uh, three months in advance if there is any failure of the batteries. We are releasing also those, those features, uh, and we are very excited about that. Uh, the nice thing is that uh, now we have fully integrated EVI to Ivy and QNX solutions, so we can go to market much quicker uh, in a very less period of time, a couple of months, and you can have a very innovative solution for your EV and your next generation EV. So we're very excited about this. Uh, we are hiring, we are in full hiring mode. Good. We have a, open an office in Europe uh, to support the European market as well. And now with BlackBerry, we're expanding to Asia as well. Okay. So very, very happy, very excited. And, and if you're looking for a job and you're qualified, uh, they've gotten some recent infusions of cash. People are 
uh, investors are recognizing the, uh, the opportunity, so you should consider it as well. Absolutely. Check out the website, electravehicles.com backslash careers, and please apply. Wonderful. Um, so, uh, what car do you drive these days? Definitely an electric car for sure. Yeah. Uh, I we you know we drive electric cars, uh, different brands that we try to to test uh, uh, different brands and model. There are more and more models coming up, so I can wait to see the next uh, 15, 30, 45 uh, cars. Um, I usually rent cars. I don't own it or so. I prefer like to rent it and, yeah. and change in and see the newest and, and greatest solution. And uh, I look forward to rent the one with our cockpit, with the BlackBerry Electra cockpit through through the Pateo uh, relationship. So hopefully that will come soon in uh, one or two years. Okay. Now I wasn't sure how you would answer that because I know you're a huge fan of motorsports. True. And um, uh, so you must uh, you you thought of being an automotive engineer early in your career. Yeah. Um, and uh, you you must have a, a love for combustion engines as well. True, that, that's true. Uh, I love uh, motorcycles, I love uh, sport cars or so. And I think there will still be a space for those uh, niche applications and uh, for, for sport uh, applications and so on. But uh, the electric vehicle revolution is happening and uh, nobody can uh, reduce that or slow that down. Uh, they're also getting to motorsports as well. We are seeing more and more uh, e-bikes uh, and Formula E and uh, the uh, Paris Dakar rally uh, yes. being electric, so it's going to be a lot of fun there. They're very high power vehicles, so we'll see that uh, upcoming. So okay. Check it if, out. if you had um, maybe one piece of advice for uh, for car makers that are making choices about the the platforms and the technologies to feature in their next generation cars, what would you say to them? Yeah, I would say definitely focus on software defined solution because. Uh, Everything is uh, moving to software. Leverage uh, the data that you are collecting. Uh, you are collecting tons of data, and those can be fed into ML AI solutions that can really uh, maximize the performance of your vehicle. And again, be all around software. Check out uh, BlackBerry IV and QNX solution. I think they are great. Uh, check out Electra AVI solution, and uh, be around the software-defined vehicle. I think is the way to go and uh, can't wait to see the next couple of years. Okay, I can't wait to see what Electra comes up with next and uh, follow your progress for the next few years. Thank you so Great. much for spending some time with us today. Of course, thanks Steve. Thank you. It's a pleasure to see you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you everyone. Thank you. That's the end of our episode for today. If you'd like more information on the topics or our guests, please check out blackberry.com slash podcast. Get in, the Software Defined Vehicle Podcast is available wherever you get your podcasts and don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with our latest episodes. Thanks for joining us.